the genie. Come on, she's getting away. <laughs> This is your last hour. Defend your land. Ooh. <laughs> Beware of evil wizard Rumi. She can destroy us. That is only if she's done running. <laughs> 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 uh, uh. <gasps> oh no, that's the immortal's favorite face. Uh, do you think he's going to notice? Oh, great. We should not have come in here. We know we aren't allowed to play in his office. Oh, dear. He's not going to be happy when he sees this. <sighs> no more Grunwald's Gardens field trip. He won't see it. I'll do a quick repairing spell. Earth, water, fire, air. They have the power to repair. You oh, did yay. it. Oh, well done, Rooney. That was great. <gasps> <gasps> Who could that be? <gasps> How cute. It's a genie. Do you think he grants wishes? Mm-hmm. I call dibs on genie. Listen, I'll wish first. I wish for, uh, no. I wish for that, uh, what kind of wish should I wish for? Hold on, Rooney. There are different kinds of genies. <gasps> oh, no. I think he found something in there and ate it. Oh, that's not good. Who cares? A genie that little can't be a big problem. But we don't know if he could become one. Lisa, let's go to the library and mm -hmm. find out how to put that genie back in the vase. You three, find the genie and distract him. And don't tell the immortal. <gasps> he ate my candy! <laughs> my gingerbread as well. Well, yes, he probably hasn't eaten for a thousand years. Here, little genie. <laughs> Have some unpredictable cupcakes <laughs> and dried plumberries. <laughs> this genie's no big deal. <laughs> oh, where'd he go? Hmm, he probably went somewhere else to eat. <gasps> the kitchen! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, our little problem's not so little now. Girls, maybe we should tell the immortal everything before it gets worse. And before the consequences get bigger. Here's a consequence for you. There won't be anything left for lunch if the genie finishes off all our soup. Lure him to the greenhouse. It's full of apples. Doma, can you conjure up a delicious red herring? <laughs> oh, yeah! Those apples will last him a while. Uh oh our little problem's gotten so much larger. Uh, want an apple? I've got one here. <gasps> Maybe he's finally had enough to eat. Oh no, he's headed towards the cellar. Perfect. He can sit down there and think about what he did wrong. But that's where all the school's food is stored. Stop still. Second to first, reverse! Oh! Wait here, I'm going to get the immortal! Archie, the drawer is still locked. Do you have the key on you? Shame on you, Archie. Nobody but you could have taken the cookies. So why did you do it? They were his favorite. They had coconut flakes, for the record. It wasn't Archie! The genie ate them! We were accidentally playing in your office and then we accidentally released the genie and then we didn't want to tell you because he was so cute! Okay, reverse spell! Stop! Uh There's a genie? The genie from my vase? He'll gobble up our entire stockpile! Okay, Lisa, ready! Pudding, buns, cake! Hey, we figured it out! It's a glutton genie! He's really hungry because he's been hibernating for a thousand years, and he won't go back to sleep until he's eaten all his favorite treats! Lisa, have the tablecloth make some hot cocoa! Mr. Immortal, is this really the right time for hot cocoa? It's not mine. It's to give to the genie. That's always been his favorite. He'll take a sip and go right off to sleep. Mug of hot cocoa! Hmm. Now, back to your home. Uh, Yay! <laughs> Shh, don't wake him.
them up. We're sorry, Mr. Immortal. The more we hoped the little genie would just keep being small, the bigger that he got. Oh, and it ate our lunch and our dinner. And Archie got in trouble for nothing. The whole harvest disappeared. That's how problems are. The more you try to hide them, the bigger and bigger they get. Like a gluttonous genie. So when a problem happens like this, you should come and tell us right away. Yes, then we can work together to fix whatever it is. Mr. Immortal, I guess you don't want to take us on the field trip to Grunwald's Gardens anymore. After all this... Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> if I didn't, where else would we go to get seeds to replace our harvest? Yay! Wish granted! And we didn't need a genie. <laughs> <laughs> Magical music. Ah, I've been waiting a hundred years for this. Tomorrow morning, the sun will pass from Capricorn into the Piper. And then it'll be my time to shine. The important thing is not to oversleep, but they don't suspect a thing. <laughs> Who cares about these music lessons? What's the point of studying this? It's not magic. You're only grumbling because you didn't learn your part. What is there even to learn? Bam, bam. Would you please be quiet? What are you worried about? Surely you know it all by heart. If I don't get enough sleep, I won't play well. Oh, did I oversleep? Stupid alarm crow, why didn't you wake me? Good, I'm still on time. Mr. Immortal doesn't even suspect that his treasured Trembita is missing. The heist of the century. <laughs> A little surprise for you. Hmm. The fifth Wintober of the Dragon Cycle. The sun is in the house of the Piper. Hmm. Has it been a hundred years already? <laughs> Where is it? I distinctly remember putting it in here. Right next to the Magical Music Encyclopedia. <gasps> Now, let's begin. <laughs> huh? uh, that wasn't me. Wait a minute. Isn't that... wondering why we've all gathered here today. From now on, you lucky little things are going to be attending the Yaga School for Mischief. My school. Go get the others. Don't be afraid. They can't hurt you. What are you worried about? The Alpine Horn works like a charm. It enchanted every one of them. And here are our new textbooks. Trixometry, Spitefully, Evonomics, Intrigology. And this, Mischief Matics. We'll start out easy. Let's find something interesting. How to ruin things. <laughs> Mr. Immortal? <gasps> Mr. Immortal! <gasps> Music Encyclopedia. <gasps> That's exactly what I need. Encasing, enchaining. Oh, there it is. Enchanting music. So that's how Papa Yaka bewitched them. Huh? Where is it? 
Where is the counter spell? Yours hiccups and tickling songs. That's not what I need. Knowing how to taunt and tease well is a true science. Here, watch me. Now it's your turn. Well, that was disappointing. You all get a D. By the way, where are the others? Once every hundred years, the horn's what powers this? reach their summit, but whoever plays it can overcome it. Aha! What's going on? Why don't you be witched and frozen? I'll take care of that. Playing music breaks the spell. Come on, girls, let's play. What exactly do you think you're doing? I Power of magical instruments. I assume that the music lesson has been a great success. Nice! What an enchanting melody. I just can't stop dancing. All right, then. Everyone gets an A. Oh, my alpine horn. Thank you for finding it. As soon as the sun sets, I'll play you a beautiful solo. I can't wait to demonstrate it. What? Music is truly powerful magic. But the drums were a bit late. We'll, we'll practice, practice some more and have the best concert. Flower power. Oh, nobody ever remembers me. Nobody says a word. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Under my uh, direction, you might say. Actually, the girls did it all by themselves. Aren't they lovely? Ah, indeed, these are wonderful tulips. What place do you think we will win? Isn't it obvious, sir? We'll win first place, no doubt about it. Ah, uh -huh. hmm, we've never been able to win first place before. True, because we've never been in the contest. That's the reason why. Nevertheless, first place or not, these flowers look absolutely fantastic. My gratitude to our fine instructor. Oh, thank you, Mr. Immortal, but the girls did all the work. I've got mail. It's a card, but I wonder who it could be from. Let's find out. Hmm. To our dear Miss Baba Yaga. Look at the spelling. D-E-E-R. It's supposed to be D-E-A-R. What is this? We would all like to wish you, our beloved old woman, the happiest of birthdays. Huh? You wrote this, didn't you? Huh. So that's how it is. I am only 280 years old, and you're calling me an old woman? Hmm, you can have your card back. Just imagine, what if we really do win first prize? I think Marlene was just being nice to us. I mean, it's a flower contest for all the magic schools in the world. Hmm, does it really matter that much to all of you whether or not we win? Yes, it does. Flowers shouldn't be for contest. What are they for, then? Flowers are what knights give to the fair ladies. Hmm. What knights are those? You've been reading too many stories. So what if I have? What's wrong with that? It's romantic. I wish there were boys at our school. No, thank you. Ugh, my brothers never gave flowers. I know. Knights only live in fairy tales. <sighs> it's a shame. <laughs> Over there. It's a knight. How can that be? Rooney, did you just summon up a knight? Did you do that just to tease us? I didn't summon anything. Uh-huh. As if I would believe that. Whatever. Stop arguing, girls. He's walking toward our flowers. Then, does he want to give them to Lisa? I don't understand. Why would he give me flowers? Let's find out. Hurry. It's too late. Our oh, poor flowers. He took them and left. Then does that mean that they weren't for me after all? Shh. Do you hear that clanking? That's him. Uh, why 
Why is the witch's hut here? Oh no! The hut is the one who picked our flowers, and the knight is saving them! <gasps> Archie! Yes! It was him all along! He was listening to us and went off to find a real knight! Hmm? He was trying to do something nice for us. Was he? Did it ever occur to him that we have a contest? Award you the order of, um, what do you call it? Flower power. Mm -hmm. Hooray! 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 Girls, who has a barrette? What for? To use for a medal. Actually, order is an honorary society, so the barrette isn't necessary. It is. Our order definitely needs one. <laughs> Thank you, Archie. Well done, Archie. Look! Baba Yaga's hut dropped this. I saw it. A card for Baba Yaga. It's her birthday. So then, the hut wanted to give her a present. I sort of lost my temper. So, um, thank you for the birthday card. <clears throat> uh? We wanted to wish you a happy, happy birthday. birthday. What? Don't be afraid. He's from the Order of Flower Power. He's here to say happy birthday, too. Happy birthday! Oh, well, what a lovely surprise, girls. Thank you. All this kindness and I have nothing to share. I didn't prepare anything. But not to worry, I'll whip up some leech soup right away. Uh, um... You do like leech soup, don't you? So the angle formed by ABC equals the angle formed by CAB. And that is how you prove this particular theorem. Did you get all that? Sure, we got it. Ah, wonderful. Uh, by the way, what did you girls think of Baba Yaga's leech soup? <laughs> what else did she have to offer you girls? She had some treats for us, eclairs and donuts. And little tots, too. I think I like the Napoleons most of all. <laughs> they were delicious. <laughs> the perfect party. Everyone, quick! We don't have much time. Daria, what's the matter? An attack on the school? <gasps> A pop quiz? No, Rooney. It's nothing like that. We forgot Teacher's Day. We have to organize a party for the teachers. A party? I love parties! Oh. Oh. Not just any party. The best ever. It has to be the perfect party for the perfect teachers. But they'll be back really soon from the Magical Council. We'll never get it ready in time. We will, as long as we all work together on it. The Immortal's favorite color is red, blue for the Professor, and yellow for Marlene. Hmm. The only garland we have is green. Hmm. In that case, you need a spell to change the color. Here you go. Say it three times and the garland will start turning all the colors of the rainbow. Magical! <laughs> oh, Jess, that's excellent. The Professor and the Immortal play every evening, right? Right, those two like chess a lot. Yes, although this evening can't be like the others. It needs to be special. How about three-board defector chess, invented by the wise men of the Kingdom of the Seven Peaks, you know? Of course! That's exactly what we need. Right, we'll need two more chess boards then. Got it. Hmm, whatever you're making smells good. They're coconut cookies, see? Perfect. Those are the Immortal's favorite kind. Mm hmm And he eats them all the time, so often that he always keeps them in his desk. <laughs> they won't be much of a surprise. What about a coconut cake instead of cookies? He doesn't have one of those in his desk. <laughs> Great idea! How about a cake in the shape of a school? It'll be tricky keeping the towers up. Unpredictable syrup. The stickiest stuff in the world. It'll keep any tower standing. Yes, good idea! Hmm. 
I just can't decide which hats would look better for Teacher's Day. Let me think. What about... Academic caps! Of course! That's perfect for Teacher's Day. Oh, I hope that the teachers will like them as well. Violin, harp, double bass. All the Immortals' favorites. Although, Marlene prefers the trumpet and the flute. Then let's have a whole orchestra. Starting with the flute. Hey, what's this thing? A joy tuning fork? Tap the fork and everyone will be in a delightful mood all day. <gasps> With this joy tuning fork, the party will be perfect, even if something goes wrong today. Wait, what about our rehearsal? <gasps> no, my coconut castle. Uh, is that an earthquake? It's the joy tuning fork. There's something wrong with it. Hey, stop those defectors! They won't get away! We have to stop that tuning fork! Easy now! Stop immediately! That's it. The party is ruined. It's my fault. Doria, if it weren't for you, no one would have remembered Teacher's Day. And we still have time to put everything back the way it was. Do we really? Of course. Okay, then. Let's get it done. Wow. Is this what I think it is? How beautiful. It looks like the students here have organized a party for us in order to celebrate Teacher's Day. Happy Teacher's Day! Happy Teacher's Day! <laughs> the joy tuning fork. I've wanted to fix that for years, but I lost it. How did it come to be at our wonderful party? I wanted everyone to have fun, but it turns out the joy tuning fork is broken. The chess pieces ran away, the caps flew off. All we have is checkers. Daria. It's the thought that counts, don't you see? We don't mind if we have caps or a certain game. You did this for us, and it's wonderful as is. Remember in go winter snow, remember when spring flowers grow, when the summer and fall come around, don't forget the friends you found. A big adventure. I proudly present the newest additions to our museum. Unique finds from our herological expedition. Bracelet of Thumbelina. Wow, she must have been tiny. The armor of Firewing the 39th. Now he was a big hero. Look at the size of that. Hm. Size isn't everything. Maybe his brain was as small as Thumbelina's bracelet. Now that's more like it. The shield of Brunhilde the Clever. Legend has it that Brunhilde was both smart and tough. It's a little odd. Nothing here actually specifies her height. <sighs> I couldn't lift that shield if I wanted to, much less do anything heroic with it. I know, right? I can't lift my youngest brother's shield. How will we be heroes without shields? We have some growing to do. I might have an idea. Let's meet here when class is over, and I promise you will be able to lift 
any shield. Hmm, they don't know a thing about magic. Fawning over that metal junk and not even a glance at the bracelet. That thing can shrink anything down. As small as you want. Is that a speck of dust there? No, it's the immortal. I want that. So small, but so special. And they're kidding if they're unguarded. And that concludes today's little museum artifact tour. It's lunchtime. <gasps> hmm, clever of him. Hmm. What we need now is... We need someone who is small, someone like... Ah, oh, a raven! <laughs> and a frog, too. And a spider. There. You're going to be my very own soldiers. My evil heroes. <laughs> I'm your commander-in-chief now. You'll obey my orders. I could barely sit still in class. Okay, we're ready. Show us what you've got. Look, gingerbread men taught me how to make enlarging and shrinking magic cookies. You can grow as big as you want with these and pick up whatever shields you like. A bite of this one and you grow. Eat this one and you shrink. That is, if I didn't mess up the recipe. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And it's in the name of science. <gasps> oh, put that bracelet back immediately! Dorma, quick! The shrinking cookie! <gasps> hey, stop! <gasps> That's my old hairpin. And the professor's favorite spoon. Uh, this is a sticky situation. Well, it's not Brunhilde's shield, but it suits me fine. Uh, uh. Okay, thief, this is your final warning. You know you can't hide from me in the library. I know every page in here. Uh, gotcha! Huh? Full speed ahead, set a course for the end of the chapter! I'm shipwrecked. There it is! Hey, stop! Got you at last! Give us the bracelet! got a whole forest gang. But why the bracelet? Because animals don't wear jewelry. Baba Yaga, that glow, didn't you see it? She's bewitched them to get to that bracelet. Quick, put me up on the window and call Chirpy. Chirpy! Hello, Chirpy. We'll go with you. This is no job for giants. Stay here and warn the others. Baba Yaga is up to something. All around is wonderful stories. Some are strange, but none of them boring, yeah. We're always hungry to know more Learning all the spells we believe in Secrets of the universe even, yeah We're gonna open up the door When times are tough we gaze up at the sky Enchanted helper. Thumbelina's bracelet is now Baba Yaga's ring. <laughs> what should I shrink now? Oh, I know. Everything. <laughs> Great work. I'm promoting you all to general. Meet tonight at Wonderman School. Then we'll decide what to do with our miniature immortal. <laughs> Still. No. First reverse. <laughs> oh, come on, you little. Big things come in small packages. Oh, I won't say goodbye. I left a pot on the stove. You all just got lucky. Daria, for someone so small, you've shown enormous courage. So, perhaps Wondermont has found its own Bruhilda or its own Thumbelina. Because, you see, heroes don't have to be big. That's why Thumbelina's tiny bracelet is every bit as valuable as that giant shield. Oh, that little menace. I had all these good ideas and she ruined them. <laughs> oh, well, at least I have my soldiers. 
Like a grown-up. Almost there. Hidden by magic lock and key, a room that only grown-ups see. <gasps> there are secret rooms in our school? Yes, we store important documents in here. If they got mixed up, it would cause an awful lot of confusion. <laughs> we might get ordinary sticks instead of magical wands, or schedule exams instead of holidays. That's why this room is for grown-ups only. Amazing! And I thought that I knew every room in this school. Don't forget to water the flowers in the small greenhouse! We have another greenhouse? We do, but it's off-limits to children. <sighs> off-limits to children? I wonder what interesting things they keep there. Rare plants in the greenhouse, ancient spells in the records room. <sighs> if only we were grown-ups. I do need a refresher on the verbs. Is it ne-i-e or ne i -e? It's a shame. If only Marlene could join us for the unicorn language course. Yes, but Marlene is the assistant principal. She can only be replaced by an adult magician. And where would we find one? Me? I could serve as the assistant principal. Or more like, assistant assistant. That is out of the question. Rather, it would be out of the question. But this is Daria. I think she could handle it. You can definitely handle this. The assistant principal doesn't have many responsibilities. Here's a short list. Mm. Here is the assistant principal's badge and the key to the small <gasps> greenhouse. What are the flowers? But don't let the begonia get out. You'll also need to pick the ripe letters in the records room. The post squirrel will be coming for them. Um, keep an eye on the others. After all, you're in charge. And if anything goes wrong, you can take off the badge. I'll rush right back to help you. No way. I don't need any help. Hello there. I am the adult magician who will be watering you today. I hope we grow to like each other. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. Ah, are you the assistant principal? Yes, are you the smile of the closet? No, I'm the records room, Sai. No time to smile, only sigh. We're very serious here. Letters, invoices, reports. These all require your signature. That's it? Don't you have anything more exciting in here? Like ancient prophecies? And maybe you have a secret encyclopedia I can read? I'm old enough to read them now. <sighs> Give me a moment. The most interesting thing I have to offer you is the manual for a kettle. Like to see? A report on grades. A report on the dishes. A report on reports. Oh, how exciting! We received an invitation to the Songbirds concert. We must respond quickly. They need a list of who will be attending the concert. <sighs> okay, so we have Rooney, Dorma, Vasco, Levan. <gasps> the Begonia! How did it get out? How does Marlene handle this thing? Let me check the manual. Uh -huh. If the begonia escapes, pour the anti-growth elixir from the red bottle on it. <gasps> I made a mistake, but I fixed it. Like a grown-up. Not to mention, I took care of the documents. I barely got the letters to the boss squirrel. Too bad we won't all be going to the concert. Even though I would have loved to hear Songbird perform live. Oh, I didn't finish the response letter. I messed up again. I'm not very good at this. Oh, the Seven League Boots! Daria, Daria! Our kite got stuck and we can't get it down. Can you please help us out? Dorma, I really don't have time for that right now. Don't worry. We've got this. Wind could get it down. What about the storm spell? Oh, this is a speedy postal service. Mr. Postman, please wait for me. I really need to finish writing my letter. <sighs> and now, 
We can all attend. <sighs> I need a break. Somebody, please help us! We wanted our kite back, so we used the spell. But the storm got out of control. But why? We're not supposed to use magic. Doria, help us. You're the assistant principal. Well, I... I don't know what to do. Oh, being a grown-up is hard. Marlene, I need your help. Please. Spell gone wrong reverse. Thunderstorm disperse. I'm so sorry. I messed up and couldn't do anything right. That's not true, Daria. You did your very best. You were a great assistant principal. Our class can be difficult at times, even for a grown-up. Actually, I didn't like growing up so suddenly. Not like that. I'd rather take time to grow up. So for now, could I go play with everyone else, Marlene? Of course you can. <laughs> this way! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Prince Vasco. And the magical dynasty of Woodstream is 5,000 years old. And now my father, Oakengrove, is the 252nd ruler. That was a very informative presentation, Princess Lisa. Thank you. And that is the end of our lesson. Our family started as fishermen. My great-great-grandfather caught a whale once, but they became friends, so he let it go. In Wisdom Land, all kings and queens are called the Wise. Our throne is set up in a library. There's still someone we don't know the tiniest bit about. Oh? Uh, who? You know who. Tell us about your family. Do you have a castle? Are there any towers? Um, I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. Huh? Why didn't you tell them about your family? It isn't like you're cursed or anything. The princesses, Levon! Princesses! I don't see how that's a problem. Of course you don't get it. You're from a royal family. You have a castle and you ride dragons. But me? I spent my childhood pulling weeds out. Would the princesses even still talk to me if they knew that? Vaska, we know everything! You do? But how? We read it! The Magic Herald says that the famous king of an ancient family has apparently sent his favorite grandson to the very best school of magic. Lucky kid, huh? This boy has natural talent. He could levitate before he even learned how to walk and flew off for ice cream. <laughs> Sounds great. Stop pretending. We know that it's you. Me? Mm. Of course. It's me. You guessed right. Yep, you win. It's me. And so to honor our prince from an ancient family, that's you, we cordially invite you to a royal picnic. Wow, a picnic. And we look forward to you showing off your amazing levitation ability. Maybe we could learn a thing or two. Piece of cake. Uh, levitation has to do with levers, right? Uh... I can't believe you agreed to this. Vasco, you don't even know what levitation is. Come on, this is my only chance to make them believe that I'm a prince. I just want to fit in. Okay, if it's that important to you, then my honor demands that I help you out. Rock on! But if you want to be more princely, then you should use more refined language. Do what I do. Light as air, soft as snow, soar above the ground below. Levit high, levit up, lift your head and levy up. Now you give it a try. Left face, march. Very good. Now to the right. This nail's turned out great. And it's well trained. Soon it'll be growing everywhere. Oh! And just look at their flower beds over there. They know nothing about beauty. Light as air, rotten dough, oops, I mean soft as snow, I'll soar above you. Levitai, levitare, lift me in the air. Uh, it's impossible. I've been working on it for a whole hour and nothing. Double swamp potion. Now none of their magic will be able to touch you. Oh, my potion. I didn't even have a chance to finish making it yet. I'll never get this right. Stomp here, clap there. It just makes no sense. You'll get it. You just need to feel the magic in your bones, you know? Make it your own. My magic? 
I forgot all about it. Ivan, you're a real friend. No, a genius. <sighs> well, rock on. I mean, magnificent. Your attention, please. For the very first time, Prince Vaska will demonstrate his famous levitation. Hmm? So you're the one interfering with my spell. Oh, you're in for it now. Nettle, ready on my command. Chase everyone away and seize the flower bed by the school. Wondermont will be ours. Onward! Uh, thank you, my friends. Oh. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> my special nettles are magic resistant. Go! <laughs> isn't making them go away. Then we should deal with them without any magic at all. Watch and learn. Ah! Oh. Oh. What kind of ancient magic warrior technique is that? Well, it's actually called weeding. Ah! 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 Such a good retreat. Stop! I have enough battles in my own already. Where? Just like back home on the farm. <laughs> oh, great job! Listen, I'm not some prince from an ancient family. I'm just Vasco from a long line of farmers. And I like you better this way, instead of being some fancy show-off. I wouldn't trade you for a million princes, my friend. Rock on! I guess being true to yourself is your best self. The Newcomers Wow! What a heroic painting! I've also got a shield like he does. I beg your pardon, Sir Knight. I usually summon this shield myself, but... This time it appeared on its own. <clears throat> Is it broken? I hope the new boys like soccer. I hope not. I dread the notion of the three of you running around together. Don't worry, Daria. They seemed very well behaved if you ask me. <gasps> well behaved, you say? I'll have you know. We do not walk about the hallway waving shields around here. But the shield popped out on its own. Hmm. What a lack of manners. I planted these sleeping herbs over a month ago. When are they going to grow? Have you tried singing them a growing song? Yes. Watered them with the rainbow? No, not yet. <clears throat> oh. What you need is some magic for the soil. Here. Back in my village, if something didn't want to grow, they would call me. Are you sure about this? Magical herbs aren't like digging potatoes. You must be careful. Just don't ruin anything. Please be careful. No! Now you've done it. It took a whole month to grow them. Please, you have to help us sort all this out. There's nothing to sort out. We didn't want your help, but you forced it. <clears throat> Watch out! What was that for? It wasn't me. Maybe not. What about you, Levon? I didn't do anything wrong. Heroes don't randomly wave their shields around. But a hooligan would. I'm not a hooligan, I'm a hero. <laughs> In training. Come now, don't argue. It is clear to me that something mysterious is happening here. Do any of you have a suggestion? Perhaps the boys have been cursed. Perhaps. Quite possible. Let's try to detect it. Vaki has never been wrong before. There's no curse. Then it was on purpose! We were trying to help out. 
Oh, yeah? Helping? It's true. Oh, really? It's true? You did do it on purpose. Girls, you're starting a fight again. Are you sure you should? We must not make accusations before we figure this out. We're going to see Mr. Immortal. In the meantime, no more arguing. Hm. Yeah. <gasps> I think we should wait outside. We're just too dangerous for this school. We are? There, see? You're going to make the school fly away. As heroes, it's our duty to save the school from the two of us by becoming wandering wizards. Perfect. We'll wander around in search of adventures uh, and dinner. And so, the boys have gone missing? We've searched the entire school for them, Mr. Immortal. Hmm. Then we must find them immediately. Girls, stay right there. I think the boys must have been offended by us. Why should they be offended? It makes no sense. I don't know. What if they left because of us? Let's find them. But we were told to stay here. I agree. We should go find them. Come on. Did you find them? Not yet. Me neither. <gasps> Girls, look! I found raspberries. Dorma, we aren't here to collect raspberries. Look there, it's a floating rock. All sorts of them. Dorma, don't fall behind. But there are so many floating rocks here. <gasps> Come quickly. I found them. <gasps> what are you doing there? N nothing. Hey, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The girls found us. Give me your hand! A real hero doesn't need help! <gasps> you have to leave! It's too dangerous here! Are you listening? Get out of here now! We're not leaving you! Yes, and we're sorry! We know we were wrong! Give me your hand! We'll pull you up! Hey, Vosco! Let them help us! They can pull us up! <gasps> Thank you. That was very heroic of you. Look out, everyone! <gasps> Look! My magic! It's finally working again! Auto magic. It is a very rare magical phenomenon. You see, it happens when a magician becomes very sad. Their magic begins to lose its precision. And that is what happened to the boys. Yes, they lost their friends and their school. So of course they were sad. Exactly. And you girls were not very hospitable to them. Tell us, Mr. Immortal, do the students at this school sleep in trees? Yes, that is correct. And it's a great idea for a surprise. Here. Oh. Make our home your home. I hereby vow to defend Wondermont as my home. I hereby call the top punk. <laughs> <laughs> Midnight Magic <gasps> Ooh, is it a new spell? I'm not sure yet. What do you think it could be? We must find out. <gasps> it's a giant piece of candy. Uh -huh. It's not candy, Rooney. You see? It's a frame for photographs from a sea trip. Oh, you're both wrong. It's not candy or a frame. This is a giant gemstone. I'm sure of it. I know a thing or two about gems. A gemstone shaped like this is called a princess cut. Well, in that case, this could be a spell to create gemstones. That's what it has to be. I agree. Let's make gemstones. I want a giant one as big as my notebook. Mm -hmm. As big as a pot. A teapot. Doria, what are you waiting for? The perfect setting. It's very important that the spell is cast in the right place at the right time. Of course, and I think the right time is now. Let's see what the directions say. In between two days, in a very special place. A place where the walls have knowledge. What does that even mean? In a place where the walls have knowledge. Hmm. Sounds like the library. Uh, between two days must mean at the stroke of midnight. Hmm. Can we do it earlier? We're not allowed to stay up till midnight. Well, then maybe we could sneak out just before midnight. <laughs> what about Archie? If he saw we were gone, he'd go tell Mr. Immortal. Mr. Immortal, look what Archie just showed me. This is a ghost chessboard. It was a gift he got on his birthday. Hmm, beautiful, isn't it? And convenient, too. The pieces move themselves. You don't even have to touch them at all. 
And do they think on their own as well? We'll see. Archie needs to check on the girls. In the meanwhile, we can play a game if you'd like to. And then Archie can play whoever wins. Right. What is at E2? The King's Pawn, Mr. Immortal. Well, then go ahead. What are you waiting for? I'm so tired of that noise. Wish it would stop. We're going to end up with headaches all day tomorrow. He's gone, it worked. Woo! Yeah! Ooh. Oh. Worried. I hope Archie's all right. All your clones out there might frighten him. You can't scare a ghost. Archie's a scary one. Ooh. On this night, with the timing just right, the darkness we oppose. Shine the light, gemstone bright, and clear away the shadows. Oh, how beautiful it is. Would it be all right if I take a little piece of it? Doma, of course not. We can't destroy it. I know, I'm just kidding. We couldn't anyway. Look how hard that stone is. Actually, gemstones only appear to be hard. If you crack their weak spot or flaw, they fall apart easily. See? I told you, I know a thing or two about gems. What's going on, Mr. Immortal? I don't know. Well, that's interesting, because I'd have your queen in two more moves. Professor, I have nothing to do with it. Something's gone wrong. Let's go. What do we do with it? We can hang it in our dormitory and admire it. Hey, what are those thingies? Oh, looks like a ghost chess set. Archie's. But why is it in there? It's stuck inside the gemstone and can't get out. I've got it. This spell is typically used to clear a place of ghosts. So then basically, this is a trap for ghosts. Good thing we sent Archie out into the woods. Otherwise... <gasps> no! Go away! Archie, go now! Daria, do something fast! I don't know how! in time. Well done, Dorma. Sorry, Archie. Girls, there you are. What are you doing up at this hour? Hmm. It's a trap for ghosts. Well, fancy that. I thought we destroyed all these spells. We got rid of every copy when we employed Archie. Isn't that true? That's what I recall. But perhaps one of the copies survived. You know how hard they try to escape. Not this time. So the question <laughs> remains, who among you cast this spell? I did, Mr. Immortal. No, not just Doria. We all did it together. We hope you'll forgive us, sir. I admire your curiosity and your desire to try things out for yourselves. But you gave Archie quite a fright. Uh-huh. So a ghost can be scared after all. Let's hope you've learned your lesson. In the future, don't cast a spell unless you know what it is for. We will bring it to you first. Where you are and we won't try to cost it very good well done tomorrow we will go through every book in the library then we'll make sure there definitely aren't any more loose spells hanging about but mr immortal today is saturday and tomorrow is sunday so you girls will have all day long to complete the task won't you <laughs> tired and tested Tomorrow, I will be giving a lesson on the three-headed dragon. We'll study its head and the way it flies and breathes fire. <gasps> Three-headed dragons! Awesome! Cool! Mm -hmm. The topic's complex, so tomorrow you need to be attentive as well as involved. After all, the director will be watching us. The director will watch us. Ah, the immortal, huh? Then I'll make sure he remembers it. <laughs> Hmm. 
It was just a dream. The sun is up. Time for class. Get up, girls. Oh, wait a minute. Where is everyone? We have to hurry. The sooner we start, the more we'll learn about dragons. Good, Good morning, morning, Mr. Immortal. Good morning to you, girls. Hmm. What fine enthusiasm. <gasps> oh, girls. Uh, good lesson this morning. Uh, I mean, let's uh, begin now. You're going to do just fine. Don't worry. I've dreamed of seeing one of these my whole life. Uh, I'm afraid at stage one, Rooney, we only study how to fly dragons using miniature copies. What? When do we use real ones? Rooney, we're only at stage one. Please be patient. We use miniature copies to ensure that everyone remains safe. Mm, yes, safety. That's right. Let's start with just one dragon. The recipe's easy enough. Two drops of flame plant juice, along with moonlight dew, combine and mix well. But no more than one drop. Or else you... <gasps> oh, no! No need to panic. Just a small recipe mistake. <laughs> That's right. Remain calm. Sweet and obedient creatures. <laughs> oh, these creatures are rather annoying. They're more like dragonflies. Yes, a regrettable error, but reversible. <sighs> oh no, Mr. Immortal. I'll do it. Tornado. Uh, everything's under control. Oh. oh no, good heavens. I'm so sorry, sir. Oh, oh my, what is going on? <clears throat> Marley. These are impressive special effects. However, this hasn't been the most successful lesson. To be honest, it hasn't been successful at all. I can see that you tried, but it is difficult material. Hmm. Professor, I wonder, would you teach the lesson? Aren't these dragons your specialty, sir? May I please try one more time tomorrow, sir? You see, I... I didn't sleep last night. I had nightmares all night long. Please. No, he's not going to let her. But what if he does, and she has another hard night? And then what? If she doesn't sleep well again, things could get even worse. <sighs> oh dear, poor Marlene. Oh, she's restless. Looks like she's having nightmares again. I know. Let's help her sleep tonight. How? We can make her some good dreams so she can rest. Just a moment. Let me find the right frequency. Yes, I think I caught her dream. I knew it would work. Let's go. What's the hat for? It's a special dream mixing hat. Basically, it transmits dreams. Think of a good dream, and I'll go to sleep. Then I'll transmit the dream to Marlene. Okay, we're inside her dream now. <gasps> it looks dreadfully gloomy. Yes, no wonder she can't sleep. I'll make the first dream for her. Everything must be bright and colorful, with lots of pretty gowns and music to dance to. Very happy anymore. I've got it. We'll add some sheep. Oh dear, it didn't work. Oh no, this is frightening. That's it. I'm going to enter her dream now. What is this? You're the one ruining our dreams. Uh -huh. Now I've got you. Little wrecker of dreams, fly far away and take your nightmares with you. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Good morning. You look wonderfully well rested. Oh, Why, well, thank you, sir. 
I finally feel well rested. So now the three headed dragon lesson should go perfectly well. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh. 